They should be strong enough to kind of get us going here. Hey, okay, good, good, good start. Both business days. <laughs> Both business days. I don't think the turn even started. All right, it is once again that time of the day where you open your heart and welcome lust and look up into the skies above and let the light of the Great One bless you. As he is apparently blessing the community here in civilization with very prosperous rain in order to bring in the crops. I am such an amazing god, not only of lust and war, but of fertility. Why fertility? Well, because we have produced some really, really good children here based on our past followers. And we have the destined here. I cannot wait for Tappa to start popping babies for us because they gotta be pretty good, I gotta imagine. So what we're gonna do right now, we have Morala with a miracle. However, I'm seeing that we have two days into the Festival of Lust, which will increase charisma and obviously, um, charisma is very important for the Weaver. So we're gonna wait. I'm not gonna go ahead and put you down into the other places. I'm gonna wait for the Festival of Lust. We got some ecstasy built up. It is gonna be a mwah, beautiful Festival of Lust. For now though, what we're gonna do Give a couple of commands, so we're gonna go outside and beat some dudes up because I want to show you something that I figured out as well. Um, how's this gonna work out? Sack, well, let's have you come over here. What are we looking for the future? Um, we're, we're kind of getting low on gathering. And speaking of which, we also have the next, um, initiates coming up. So over here, we've been beating up these guys over here for experience, obviously, but they're level 3, so it takes a while. They recharge after two days, though, which is the good part. However, these islands over here have that version too. Basically, you beat them up over and over. You don't take over the spot, you can come over here level though. So this area has one. This one, however, takes 11 days to charge, which is really annoying. But if we come over here, these guys take the same amount of time as these guys to recharge. So this right here is where I've been leveling up off camera, getting some miracles for our new initiates. So for very fairly young characters, we have like level three and almost level four miracles going already. So this is kind of like my beat up spot off camera now. I found it out and I was like, I like this place a lot. Um, You guys are weak against nature. We have both Sacco and Tappa here who are nature oriented. However, you guys have these smites and these guys hit pretty hard. So it's going to be a matter of whether Sacco and Tappa don't get rocked by you. So let's put them up in here and the other thing is, we just gotta avoid Kawain, maybe, and Kuali, which are some of my stronger dudes. Morala's recovering. I would have loved to have Morala for this fight. I'm gonna go with Izel, though. I'm gonna go with Izel. Let's start this mission off. Let's see how it works out for us. Hopefully it works out good. If it does not, I'll be really upset. Off camera, when I was doing some grinding, I forgot, I think it was Izel, as a matter of fact. We got Smite Sword plus two with the abilities with the last video. And off camera, when I was doing some grind, why are you healing at the start of combat? It's at the start of combat, nobody's taking any damage. I guess it's probably useful if they initiate first and come after us. Oh my god, why am I even question- Why am I even questioning? Look what we've done in one turn! Izel hid a Smite 2 attack off camera for me. For 137 damage. 137 damage. And that's because we got the Smite Sword plus two. Now, that's the upgraded ability from what we did last video. Um, embrace the converts and we got the Sky Show, which is the important part. So, um, do we continue pumping Tappa, you're saying? Absolutely. freaking lootly 22 years old. You have so much time ahead with Tappa. So Tappa, let's, um, I mean, you're going to be the future. You're going to be part of this going forward. So let's go ahead and command job, Tappa. Over here to gain two more ability points. And Sacco, your ass is never really truly happy. It's really bothering me. Get your ass over here and become happy with the religion of lust, okay? I don't want to hear it, Sacco. What's your problems? You've got no problems over here. Izel loves war. Good. Lust and war, Quain. You know, you know, you follow well. And that's three things assigned. Yes, let's go out. And that's been taken care of. Uh, I guess we could come up here. If I'm feeling froggy about stuff, or get another disguise shirt over here. This shouldn't be too tough of a fight, right? What do you guys got for me? Mmm, life, 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 life. Well, that's that's fine, because, um, Kawain and Kuali are good to go, and they're strong against life. And as long as we avoid having- we don't have a life individual, that's- I'm hoping that with the next class of initiates, we get a life one, because we don't have any. That's the only thing we're kind of missing at the moment, a life one. Let's go with Kuali, Kawain, and... I kind of want to put Sacco in there just because this fight might get you that miracle charged up too. 
Rage Prophets and whatever Kuali and Kuwain are. The little red skull. Ancestor, there we go. They should be strong enough to kind of get us going here. Hey, okay, good, good, good start. I don't think the turn even started. Those were all just literally attacks that triggered before the actual fight started. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. Tapa is seeing results from training. We got two ability points. One more before the Festival of Lust again and seven initiates. Don't worry, Morala, we'll get to you soon. Um, so Tapa, let's come over here to Tapa really quickly. And we got two ability points. Perfect. Um, let's see here. So, uh, we could le get a level 3. This would replace Entangle. Converting that into physical damage would be ridiculous, you know what? Do that. I mean, I'm thinking maybe we have two Entangles. Why not? Entangle, as long as we use that knowledge for physical damage, that could be really good. Alright, there it is. Back on the map here, I just realized we unlocked this. A rare relic can be created down here. Ooh, 16. They have a level 15, level 18, and, uh, level 15 and level 18 characters over here. The team HP isn't too high, but the characters that they have are pretty strong. So we'd have to have a very highly focused party against, uh, Light in order to make this happen, because these guys over here have a ton of HP. 78 Spirit, 112. I mean, we could probably get close to the 70-something, but, um, 120, like this monster over here, this guy's a freaking monster. Uh, we would have to go Kuali and Kuwain for a fact. But then this guy would decimate Kuali and Kuwain. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to skip out on that one right now. I could probably do it, but, um, it would revolve around a little bit of, like, you know, having lucky dice rolls. So, instead, I'm gonna see if we could hopefully get in the light class, next initiate class. Which should be coming up anyway right now. So let's instead try to get Sackle's last miracle charged up if we can here, and... As long as we avoid light, which we don't have, which is fine. We could go in and bring an Izel to smite you guys fairly good, and... Quain, how old? 30? Yeah. Let's, um... Let's bring Quain in here. Tappa's doing good, I could continue working on Tappa, but, um... We gotta spread the power around. Can't just have Tappa carry these scumbags over here to victory all the time. quain has got an amazing amount of HP, too, it does seem. Alright, so he's starting off with a Totem Rally. I don't like that too much. Quain already took 14 damage. That's good. Yes, the flock is natural. That's right, baby. No enhancements needed. We don't need to Botox it up or get any implants. We just radiate with lust. All natural is what we are. That being said, it is time to bring in a new batch. And we have our festival of lust. So before the lust goes down, before we bring the festivities, let's see who we have available here. Michi, uh, you know where this is going, right, Michi? Now, do I want to get rid of somebody else along with Michi? Koali's 42. Kuali's strong, but you know what? It might just be time to say goodbye to Kuali because... 43 gray hits and you start downgrading year by year. Alright, I hope you guys have been busy producing offsprings for me. That's all I'm gonna say, I need some babies over here. The bloodline of Michi. That's a very sad looking card though. There is no colors around it to kind of make me excited for this. What have you done, Michi? You have done terrible for me. You've given me Sackle to already have a Sackle. I have a good Sackle. This is a bad Sackle. He only requires two points. Because he's so freaking terrible. A rat totem. Decent. Decent. Common rank. This is the reason why we're expelling ne Michi over here. That's why Michi never really got any big praise from me. Because Michi, I felt, was very disappointing the entire time. Bring this. Look at this class of terrible characters. Look at this class. I am... Very disappointed. Michi, get out of here. You know what? Do you have anything of me? I gotta give I gotta give 30 offerings to get this back off of you. You're not even worth it. Plus two devotion. Give me that. Look at this. I gotta use offerings to get my items back. Get out of here, Michi. You know what? I normally give all of you guys a, a hero's farewell, a hero's departure, not you. Ah! Oh yeah, people have been telling me, can I bring an initiative and instantly send them off for some free gathering points? I don't know. Let's give it a try though. Let's initiate the disciple. And send them off immediately? No. So we're gonna pick up Neka just for the fact that we need a Light Guardian out here. I was gonna hold on to Kuali. But Michi is 16 years old, the stats aren't really too bad, and... They are an epic favored glass towards Chieftain, which means... Worst case scenario, we have a 1-1 trade-off for Kuali. Just a younger version. You know what, I'm gonna pick up Michi. So Kuali... 
You were actually really good for me, so you do get a hero's farewell. It's not raining. Yes, it is. We have a fairly younger crew. 3330, this feels like the youngest average we've had in a very long time. Maybe since the very start, I would say. This feels like a fairly young crew average-wise anyway. So, um, I think it's time for the Festival of Lust here. Who is going to be initiated by Morala? So Morala, bring in the Festival of Lust for us. Go ahead and start sashaying over there and shaking and hip thrusting all about. And uh, Neka and Michi, welcome aboard. I'm going to go out and beat some rookies up with you. Michi, Neka, and Sacco, you're very, very close right here. I need you to protect the rookies well, Sacco. All right. Keep them nice and well and warily equipped. I don't even know what that means. Warily equipped. <laughs> What's the word that I really wanted to use? I have no idea. Warily equipped. It's one of those instances where apparently I just turned to Elmer Fund. Be very, very quiet. We hunting godless. Look at this. Michi is over here defending her senpai in Sacco. Michi with a 13 crit, not too bad. Unlock class. Uh, let's start off with Michi here. So what we said for you is that worst case scenario, give me a 1-1 one -one trade-off for the chieftain that we said goodbye to. And Neka. Neka was the one that I was fairly high on coming in, at least from this class. And there was nobody really blew my mind, but they were the highest one. And we're obviously going to go Guardian here. All right. I don't think we've had a Guardian one before, too. So I like when I had like new little classes to mess around with. Selected. And Miracles charged it up very good. All right, and that relic to remove from Michi number one has finally found a home. Plus two to devotion. It's a very important stat for Tappa, so obviously we definitely want to use that on Tappa. We got our miracles over here assigned for my new characters and stuff like that, so let's go ahead and press forward. Should have probably gone and beat somebody up meanwhile, but we had to rest up Michi. So Sackle, this I believe should be Sackle's last miracle. That should be number four if I'm right. I have to double check here. So we have a Joy and we have a Wild. Chance to follow up when an ally uses life ability. I... We already have one of these and we got two of these. There... Oh, but then again, then again. How often am I going to pair up Sacco and... Tappa in a party? I mean, only if we need to go really nature heavy against somebody, I guess that could work out. But otherwise, I think I probably see you with... Neca more often than not, so I'm going to go with that one right there. Blessed be. Minor hurting miracle. Some of the hurt had gone missing. Neca felt inspired by the Great One and prayed vigorously for the herd's return. Sadly, only a couple of the missing return. Even though the herders were grateful, they felt Neca's miracle could have worked better. Neca, what are you doing? You are instilling doubt into the people. Disappointing miracle permanently lowers fate. You can have lower fate going on now for the rest of um our time going forward. I'm not happy about that whatsoever. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. You put you put the sheep down, I'm disappointed in you. You're supposed to be the, the up-and-coming light person that we need and already on a bad foot. See, Michi did fine. Michi number two did fine. Bless the lands with the Great One's name. When the harvest came, the yields were ripe and delicious. A true godsend. That's what I like to see. A true godsend. Intimidate. Good. I want you to intimidate everybody. Excellent. All right, and with that said and done, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. Any sort of tips you want to leave behind, by all means, do so. I'm thinking next episode, I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera work on my new recruits here, get them powered up, and I'm thinking next episode, we go after the big guns on the next two islands, because it's about time. It is about time. I will catch you next time.